Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn JMeter Plugins Manager. So let's begin. In JMeter, just go to these options here, click on these options here, and you can see that I have this Plugins Manager here. Okay, now what is this Plugins Manager and how you can have this in the JMeter? Plugins Manager is nothing, basically, it helps you to manage your plugins. It will help you to install, uninstall, and update your available plugins. Okay. So by having these plugins, you have an additional features in the JMeter and eventually it will increase the capabilities of the JMeter. Okay. Now we need to go to this particular website, which is jmeter-plugins.org. Okay. So if you go to this website here, this is a look of this website and you can see that we have around 92 plugins available. Okay. And we have some options here like install, browse plugins, documentation and so on. Right. And in order to use these plugins, okay, we need to install this plugins manager. Just click on this install button here. And you can see that the easiest way to get the plugins is to install plugins manager. So how you can do that? We need to download this file plugins-manager.jar file. And we need to put this file into the library slash extension. And then we will restart our JMeter. Now, if I go to the JMeter and if I go to the options here, you can see that I have plugins manager here. So this means that I have already placed this file in my folder. Okay. So let's go to the folder structure here and let's go to our library and go to the extension. And you can see that I have this JMeter dash plugins dash manager 1.6. Okay. So that's why I am seeing this option in the JMeter. So let's suppose, let me close this JMeter here. Okay. Now I am copying this file from here and pasting this file here in the main directory. Okay. And let me remove this file from the extension here. Okay. And we will start this JMeter again and see either we are getting this plugin or not. Okay. So go to the bin folder here and let's start the jmeter from the jmeter dash batch file okay and now if i go to the options section i will not have this option okay so jmeter is up and running i'm clicking on options here and you can see that i don't have this option anymore here now let's close this here and go back to the main folder here into jmeter and I'm copying back this file from here and we'll place this here in the library extension folder. Okay, let's paste this file here. Now the file is here and open the JMeter again. Okay, so go to the bin and let's start the JMeter again from here. And right now, once it will be open, you will have this plugins manager in the JMeter. Okay. So once it will be started, we'll go to the options here. Okay. And we'll see either we are having this plugins manager or not. Click on options here and you can see that we have this plugins manager here. Okay. Before we understand how we can use this plugins manager in the JMeter, now let's go back to the website itself. Okay. So we have multiple options here. Okay. If I click on browse plugins, okay. So it, you can browse among the different plugins here. You can see that this is there is a Azure backend listener. Okay. So if you click on this one, right, it will take to this particular, uh, you know, GitHub page or whatever the page they are linked to this particular website. Okay. You can have the information about this particular plugin here. Furthermore, if you go to the documentation section here, what you can do, do is that click on this documentation and select the plugin you want to know about. For example, if you want to know about this active threads over time, okay? So there's a documentation available and you can also see that there's a download button as well. So there's the information about this particular plugin. So if you want to use that, so you can go through this documentation and you can use this plugin. The best thing is that if you don't know about which plugins, additional plugins you need to know or, or which plugins you need to use for your performance testing. Okay. So go to this tab here and you can see the stats here in terms of the popularity here. So there are some common popular plugins which people use in terms of the performance testing. Okay. 
Furthermore, if you want to have any specific kind of requirement, you can go ahead and search for the particular plugin which might help you. Okay. For example, if you want to have some graphs versus KPI versus KPI graphs, you can have this one. Okay. So there are a lot of plugins available here. So if I go back here into the documentation section, you can see that we have these additional plugins which can have a multiple different kind of a graphs we can have in the JMeter. Similarly, different thread groups, timers, listeners, functions, logic controllers, samplers. You can find each and everything here which you can have additionally into the JMeter. Okay. Now just go back to the JMeter here and go to the options here go to the plugins menu here okay so it will open a new window here it has three tabs install plugins available plugins and upgrades so if there is any kind of upgrades it will show here if you click on this one it will show all the available plugins and then we have installed plugins so whatever we install here will be displayed here okay now just go to the available plugins and for example, I am adding this Azure backend listener. Okay. You just need to click on this one. It will give you some details about this plugin here. Okay. Uh, and if you want to go to the documentation again, the link is provided for this particular listener here. And after that, once you check on this one, click apply changes and restart. But before that, after installing the plugin, where it will go. It will go in the same extension directory okay so if i go here in the jmeter into the library into the extension this azure plugin will be installing here okay so let's apply the changes and restart jmeter and see either we are having this azure plugin in our plugin sections or not okay so it's downloading from here in this particular site and you can see that now we have this jmeter.backendlistener.azure plugin here. Okay. Now it's restarting the jmeter so that this plugin should be reflected in the jmeter. Now there is another way to have the plugins in the jmeter, right? So this is the easiest way to use the plugins manager. You can install the plugins manager and from plugin manager, you can have these plugins. But other way is that just go to the website, open any kind of the listener or thread group whatever you want okay open this one here and you can see we have download option just click on this download option here and you can download that particular file okay jar file and you need to place that jar file here in this particular folder and after that or restart the jmeter this plugin will start replicating on the jmeter thank you so much for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today if you like our content, do subscribe our channel, like, share and comment. And once again, thank you so much and see you in the next lecture.